Morning guys and gals, Froggy here. I got a little thing I'm going to do on the steering wheel today uh, with some of that rescue tape, but it got me to thinking about driver, driver comfort, driver control, driver aids, things that you can do to be able to uh, perform better as a driver behind the wheel of your car. Um, so I laid out a few pieces on my workbench here. You might be wondering, well, why has he got that impact drill there? Uh, I'm going to show you. So let's get started. Um, this is for autocross or track. And uh, if you're racing wheel to wheel professionally, you, you don't really need this. But uh, and some of this would not apply. Uh, but shoes. Um, these are actually um, wrestling shoes. Uh, that's how they're sold as wrestling shoes. They are going to be very similar in construction to um, racing shoes or track shoes. A flat bottom. You don't want any heel on there. And um, you want it to be grippy. And you don't want like cross country training knobby things on the bottom of the, the uh, shoe. You want it to be smooth but grippy. Uh, the other thing is to get them narrow because a lot of times the pedals will be close together. Um, that's just the nature of the cars. So you don't want big wide things. Uh, you want them to be narrow. Uh, I, I put some uh, arch supports in there. You may or may not need to do that. That's an individual kind of thing. Um, but uh, driving shoes. All right. Um, under the helmet, um, this is just a painter's... Uh, sock or a thing that painters use so they don't get uh, when they're spray painting or brushing whatever they don't get paint in their hair and face if you're uh, driving uh, uh, for real on a track fast over 100 you might want to get one that's made out of nomex that's uh, fire resistant this one i just use for autocross the reason i use it is to keep the inside of my helmet from getting all sweaty and nasty um, all that gets onto the head sock, and then you take this and you just throw in the wash. Um, this is for the seat bottom. Uh, if your car does not have uh, Alcantara, or uh, if you don't have a race seat, and you kind of slide around a little bit on the seat bottom, you can put one of these. This is just a, a mat that goes into a toolbox, and, uh, but, but it's also very grippy and non-slip and you just lay that on your seat. Um, now, why have I got the impact tool there? Gloves. These are not racing gloves or driving gloves. These are actually shooting gloves. Um, you can tell they're shooting gloves because they have the uh, non-slip grippy stuff on both sides. You see that? Why? You wonder that? Well, I'll show you. Let's make believe this is a handgun, all right? So I'm going to grip it like that, and then I'm going to take my other hand <clears throat> and wrap it around like that. Now that's why it's grippy to grippy. That's why these are shooting gloves and they're not racing gloves. However, they make awesome racing gloves. These are about 40 bucks. Uh, a company named Rogers I bought them, and uh, they're a good company. Um, they are just very grippy, and they're not bulky, and they make a great driving glove. Now, again, if you're going to go wheel-to-wheel -wheel on a track over 100 miles an hour, you might want to get Nomex, because as you're reaching for your seat belt or you're reaching for your fire extinguisher and your car's on fire, it would be nice to have Nomex gloves. These I use for autocross. Uh, let's go to the car. Well, that's my bag of super tape or rescue tape, and we're going to use one of those also. This car. This is a 2013 Corvette C6 ZL6, and well, let me let me get my just let me grab this, and I'll show you what I mean. That's for the bottom of the seat. Now this car, uh, GM was nice enough. Uh, I have some. Upgrade seats in this car um, that are not available in all years. 
But that's a, a pretty grippy Alcantara bottom. And this has pretty good bolsters. They're, they're adjustable here on the sides. I've just got a little t-shirt over there for sweat. Um, it has a lumbar support. It's really not a racing seat, obviously, but it's a pretty decent seat. It's certainly better than the C5Z06 seats, which were crap. Um, but this, this one works pretty good. Now, if you did not have that kind of a seat on the bottom, you're just going to take your toolbox liner. And you're just going to put it down like that and sit on it. And that will keep you stuck in the seat pretty good. Um, now, for the steering wheel, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we got a lot of, I got the garage door open, so we got some glare there. I'm going to try to shoot around it. Uh, for the steering wheel, you can see I've already wrapped a few pieces of this super tape. And a lot of times people will use red to mark, like, top dead center of your steering wheel. Um, sometimes that's uh, handy if you're in a corner and you're all crossed up and you don't know which way the steering wheel needs to be to get out of it. That little red tape will help you out, give you a little visual cue. Um, anyway, I'm going to put a few more pieces of this rescue tape on there. And really, I, I really don't even need it when I use the gloves, but I don't use the gloves when I'm street driving the car. So it's kind of nice to have this on the wheel when I'm street driving the car. It doesn't really get in the way of anything. And I've just noticed it, uh, street driving, if I turn the car... And I'm on one of these, it's great. If, if I happen to be gripping the wheel and I'm not on one of those, I wish I had some of this there. So I'm going to put maybe four more pieces on there in different places. I'm not going to wrap the whole wheel. Um, I think that's probably overkill. But maybe every couple of three inches I'll put a piece on there. Where am I? Oh, okay. Um, so there. I might also put some on the shift knob. Um, just that just popped into my head but that might be a good thing where does your body contact the car right there your butt your right hand your wheel and your pedals you see those pedals are, are racy type pedals there is no uh, rubber on it so your foot could slip off of them especially if it was wet I've had that happen but if you've got the proper shoes on, um, less likely to happen. And narrow, so you can do heel and toe. Um, I do know how to do heel and toe, so I can rev the, I can dump the clutch in and have my foot on the gas and the brake at the same time and be revving the gas to match uh, RPMs of the engine with the transmission to make a smooth shift. So that's kind of a, um, an art that you, anybody can learn it, you just have to practice it. Uh, so that's about it. I am going to uh, say goodbye and uh, get to work putting uh, this tape on various places. Give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Uh, click on the notification bell if you want notifications. Uh, be safe, have fun. See you later guys and gals. Froggy out. Bye bye.